Hey guys, we're here today at the Jetty Pro Center on Union Island to talk to you about my signature trick, the Jesus Walk, also known as the Jesus Style. And I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to land it perfectly. I came up with this trick a little over 12 years ago and it has become one of my favorite tricks to do. This trick is not to be confused with the barefoot, which is my North Carbonic teammate Tom Hubbard's signature move. Before you try the Jesus walk, you need to be able to land the board of tricks, which is put, taking the board off your feet and putting it back on before you land. A good way to train during board off is to try under a tree. You hook your harness onto the bar and you learn how to take the board off your feet and putting it back on the fastest possible way. To be able to land that trick perfectly, you want to use a bigger kite, like a 12 meter and over. Uh, I personally use a 12 meter Rebel North Skyboarding kite, which gives me the best hang time of the range. Your board must have a handle or a little sticky pad alongside the rail. Uh, the board I use is a Jaime 136 from the North Skyboarding range. A good tip before to try the trick is to loosen your foot strap. It will make it easier to take the board off your feet and putting it back on. You want to think about the Jesus walk as a transition jump. Uh, as you get more confident doing it this way, you can then do it as a kite loop. Uh, you kite loop the kite at the end of the trick. To walk on water, you don't want to be underpowered. Uh, you're actually using the lift of the kite to simulate the walking on the water. If you are going to do your trick on the right tack, place your left hand in the middle of the bar, place your kite a little bit lower than one o'clock. To start the trick by edging very hard upwind to generate a pop jump without moving the kite. As soon as you leave the water from your pop jump, you want to start turning your shoulder toward the direction you're going, start bending both your knees at the same time, and reach for the board. You want to slowly move it sideways to move it away from where you're going and slowly start applying pressure on your left hand. As you start pulling on the left hand and slowly moving your kite on the other side of the wind window, you will slowly start to hover over the water. This is when you simulate the running. Before your kite reaches the other side of the wind window, you want to quickly put the board back on your feet by putting both your feet in the same time on the foot strap. If you find it too hard to put the board back on your feet, throw the board on the water and land with both feet on top of the foot strap as you would do on a strapless surfboard. Once you start getting comfortable landing the trick at the transition jump, you can start to do it with the kite loop at the end. Think of it as a transition jump with your kite loop at the end. As your kite reaches the end of the wind window, but it's still high enough, start pulling very hard on that hand. This will make the kite rotate very fast on itself and make it climb back up. It will give you a couple seconds extra time to put the ball back on your feet and land perfectly. If you end up flying too low or face plant on the water, this means you didn't pull on your left hand or on the opposite hand soon enough after the pop. If you end up flying too high or if you are running in the air, this means you pull on your left hand way too early. Just keep on practicing until you get the timing right. I really hope these few tips will help you to land the Jesus walk and don't forget to keep on practicing until you land it. <laughs>